welcome back everyone today we are doing a voiceover so like you saw in the thumbnail i'm going to be reviewing a dryer bonnet that i bought i had to do a very quick hairstyle for my outing i needed to run on an errand and i didn't have any hairstyle in mind and i didn't feel like putting on a wig so i just decided to try my dryer bonnet with this very simple style and you can see that my hair is very very grown i should have retouched it but because it's a very quick style I just decided to do it anyway so um, I started by parting my hair into four different sections um, making sure that every part of my hair is well combed through so that I don't have any bumps or any budging in my hair and when I was done I used water this is just water in a in a bottle I got it from Justin um, yeah I got it from Justin and then I made sure that every section is well wet enough for me to roll it on my flexi rods, okay? And I'm not wetting it, totally wetting so that it is dropping on my shoulders, but then moderately wet, okay? And I went in with my silky shea butter mousse to kind of make sure that everything that I would be using it for would be stable and then it will be tamed according to how i wanted it so that it will, be, it will come out very very the curls will come out very very well and i will, i'm also going to be using a flexi rod or like i use the flexi rod to kind of pair my hair into simple simple rods or simple simple perms and to begin with with every section i used my comb and then section the hair into smaller parts comb through very well and then i used my flexi rod and i rolled my hair on a flexi rod you know that with this particular section when i finished wetting it then i applied the muse on it there's another way if you want to do the same style there's another way i'm going to show you um in my next um clips so what you do is basically parting your hair into smaller sections after you have parted your hair into big four sections so that your hair you can manage it very well and then you comb through whilst your muse is still in your hair with the water and then you roll your hair on the flexi rod now you can roll it according to how you want it but then let me tell you that it will not be able to dry fast as you want it so the smaller you part them into sections the better for you and the faster your hair is capable of drying okay and i moved on to my other section and after I, I finished wetting the section i didn't put the muse on it i realized that when you put the muse on it after you wet it throughout the whole hair it really really consumes a lot of muse so with this one when i finished wetting the hair then i applied my muse over each section as i parted so i put the muse on the hair when i part i don't put the muse over the entire section as i did with the with the section on my right okay i hope you get that so basically that is the second muse so it that is the second method Either you put the muse all over the section after you have parted the hair, which consumes pretty much uh, muse. But then the other part is when you part the hair, like I'm doing for my very last section, then you apply the muse before you finally roll your hair on the flexi rod. So in that way, the amount of muse you use through your hair, your entire hair would be much um, lesser than if you apply the muse all over the entire section. When you finish part and so that is what i did for the rest of the hair for the rest of the three parts that i did okay and this is how it is looking and with my dryer bonnet <clears throat> this is the first time i'm going to be using this dryer bonnet i got it from jocelyn it is just 15 ghana cities and as you can see it has an adjustable um it is adjustable you can open it to any um to any length that you want you want according to the size of your head it also has an air passage um way that the dryer would blow through and i have my dryer here the dryer bonnet doesn't come with a dryer initially i thought it comes with a dryer but you would need your own dryer and it has an elastic band there which would fit perfectly on your dryer the tip of your dryer so that the hair would pass through it was quite difficult for me to fix the elastic band on my dry because I, it was very very tight but then the elastic band really really helped and i opened it so so wide such that it would be able to fit all the rods that i have i had on my hair okay on my head and then you can see that there are some tiny holes on the on the dryer 
all it does is once the dryer is blowing through your hair um, the rest of the hair also passes outside like a beefy free home and then it will be passing outside so that is um how it went i made sure that every part of my hair or the flexi rods were covered and then i adjusted it very very well to fit my hair so that it is only my hair the dryer will blow not my entire face and then i adjusted it at the back and made sure that everywhere was covered pretty pretty well okay and this is how it is looking at the back and at the front so if you have a, a lot of hair or if you are if your head is bigger than mine this is my big head it is it will fit perfectly for you okay and then when i was done i just put on my hair dryer and you can see that it has started i'm blowing it and making sure that every part of the dryer is well blown like full blown like you can see <laughs> i was just i was just in my moment i was just <laughs> fooling around with this dryer because it was it was getting it is very very hot depending on the temperature you put your hair dryer on so that is that for you and i kept it on for about 30 to 40 minutes before i removed um the dryer from my head so if you are very very lazy like me and you don't want to be moving your hands when when you finish i'm um, setting your flexi rods on your hair you don't want to move your dryer around your head a lazy person like i am this hair dryer bonnet is for you um whilst you are sitting down and then your hand can rest and this is how it looks I like it is very very comfortable and when i was done i just took it from the dryer and i tested my first roll to see how it was looking and you can see that it has pretty like it has carried it pretty pretty well you know so when you are generous with the muse it will come out very well but i realized that when i took this one out it hadn't done anything so i realized that most of the hair wasn't dry especially at my back and on top of my head so i decided to do it for some other time and then i just be, let it be on so um when i came back i realized that everything was like popping everything had killed perfectly so one tip is that it doesn't really really dry as fast as you want like it doesn't dry all your hair like the traditional hair dryer that we already have in our salons so you need a lot of time for mine i had to go back again and then wait for an, an extra 30 minutes so like i mean all together i had it on for say between between 50 to one hour between 15 minutes to one hour and then when i was done i styled my hair so basically you don't need um a lot of hand movements if your hair dryer bonnet is on top of your head you can basically be relaxing and then doing some other stuff or maybe like writing or anything scripting or anything that you want to do except that you won't be able to move around with it unless your hair dryer your your blowout dryer is mobile if it is if it is plug in you cannot move around and you also need a lot of time to sit for it to be dry so that is it but then i highly highly recommend um it is comfortable it is portable you can send it anywhere and for me when i realized it, it hadn't dried i just um um took my book and then i started scripting other scripts for other videos so um, so apparently it got me doing a whole lot of stuff um before it finally dried so i didn't really see how long it took me so if you have a lot of time on your hands you can basically do the same thing if you are learning you can do it together with your learning and when i was done i styled my hair if today is your first time on this channel you are most welcome merry merry christmas we are entering the new year i wish all of you a very very um prosperous new year next year is going to be a very great year so i wish you all the best and thank you all for those who, who have participated in my um giveaway thank you to everyone who have supported me all this while um yes yeah, so basically this is it do make sure to follow me on all my other social media platforms especially on tiktok and then on instagram and here on my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed already thank you so much for stopping by and watching love you don't forget to give me a thumbs up love you for watching bye love ya mm -hmm. <laughs>